Zach Bingman here, Ag Explorer Sales Acceleration Leader. Calvin, would you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, Zach, I'm uh, Calvin Murphy. I'm the field agronomist here with Ag Explorer, and I support the south, southeast part of the United States. Last week, we put out a poll on a phase called architecture. And over the next few weeks, we're going to break down a product called Architect and the benefits it has on a farm. We'll be breaking down what is specifically doing in that plant once applied and the importance of mitigating stress at this time. Today, we're going to talk about the architecture phase, which is phase three out of our five phases. Calvin, can you highlight a few key bullet points in this phase and what makes it so important to the farmer who wants to maximize yields on their farm? Sure, some of the, the key points uh, of architect is, so it's a 10 five, five with micronutrients. And to me, the most important part uh, of the mixture of nutrients that are in this are the micronutrients. So we have boron, copper, manganese, moly, and zinc. And what those five uh, micronutrients are doing is really boosting photosynthesis for us, really turbocharging that crop, so to speak. Uh, another component of Architect is it has GABA in it, which is a PGR. And what GABA is doing, it helps elevate the plant stress tolerance to improve photosynthesis and to help mitigate some of that stress, we're alleviating ethanol production in that plant. So the longer that you can kind of keep ethanol production down in that plant, you kind of kick the can down the road, so to speak, prolonging the life of that plant which in return should result to a yield. So you had mentioned um, stress mitigation. Uh, as far as the crop goes at this time frame, is that something that's important uh, uh, for, for a crop at, at this time uh, that we're applying this product? Yes, it could be. So we talk about most of the time, this product will be going out with a herbicide. It's your post-emerge herbicide application. And a lot of people don't don't think about herbicides as a, a stress advance, but it is regardless of what you're putting out on that crop to kill your weeds, your soybeans or corn or cotton or whatever you're putting, whatever you're putting this product on, that crop has to metabolize that herbicide in some form or fashion. And in other words, you're kind of slowing it down to do that. That GABA can help mitigate some of that stress and the micronutrients for that, that part too. Copper, that's in this product really helps with plant health to, to kind of get over that hump of that herbicide and, and to keep it ginning on all cylinders. All right, that will wrap us up here. I am Zach Bingman. Calvin, as always, thank you for coming on and sharing your expertise with us. Stay tuned as this is a three-part series. On our next video, Calvin will be going over other key components in the next time.